for us, every day is a new opportunity to make sure our first impressions are always our best and to see possibilities on the horizon. To make our facilities and services more accessible and find freedom all around us. With a location proximity to active markets, with a liberal air transportation policy, that daily pursuit is how we turn everyday opportunities for you. For all destination marketing support, customized packages for new existing airlines and operators, and for a highly ranked tourist destination, the Gambia Civil Aviation Authority is here to serve. We regulate air transport, operate and manage BIA technical requirements, merge with commercial considerations. We have experienced and well-trained aviation professionals to cater for your needs. For investment opportunities in building airport hotels, shopping malls, playground for children, do contact us on 4472-831, 4472-893. Gambia Civil Aviation Authority. We go beyond daily. Stewart and Co. Solicitors, a legal excellence firm in London that can help you with all aspects of your legal work. If you are looking at immigrating to the United Kingdom, Stewart and Co. can help you to set up business, buy houses in the UK, and will deal with all your legal works from start to finish. For all your general immigration work, we can help you with that as well. If you apply for any form of visa, where the student visas, settlement visas, marriage visas, or a child wanting to come to the United Kingdom to settle with the family, we can help you to achieve your goals. Stewart and Co. Solicitors, a legal excellence firm specializing in conveyancing, immigration, litigation, family law, personal injury, licensing, no win, no fee. Contact us today at www.sk-solicitors.com. And do small or big projects with the same dedication and commitment as we do. With the reputation as the leading printing company in the country, when it comes to major projects and innovative solutions, we always deliver in high quality, thus receiving the trust and confidence of our clients. From the moment your order is placed to when it is delivered, we believe in exceeding expectations from the sales manager to the production team, the account manager, and the person delivering your material. We have state-of-the-art equipment and a highly experienced and competent workforce that enables us to deliver top quality work on time. At reasonable prices, we provide our clients with multiple solutions right from conceptualizing, designing, printing, binding, publishing, and distribution. For all your printing requirements, we are strategically located at the Sankumsila Highway, the Gambia Printing and Publishing Corporation. We print what you desire. Introducing Gamtel Corporate Internet for home use. See who everyone at home can be online at the same time and for less than you think. Now daddy can be home early and mommy and dad with the family can all have fun together. You can now complete your work at home with our stable, secure and super fast home broadband fixed wireless internet. Home internet couldn't be faster. Download, stream videos, research, play games, learn online and work from the comfort of your home. You can do with the internet. Join Gumtel Sihu today and enjoy the fastest home wireless broadband internet at an affordable monthly subscription. Gumtel, creating a brighter future in communications. Welcome to another edition of uh, Kelfato. Um, tonight, uh, with me, Sajo, uh, to with us, I have my chairman. You know, I'm from Western Region, oh. so it's definitely a great honor to have Mr. Sirifo Sonko. Mm -hmm. Sirifo is the chairman of Western Region. Mr. Sonko, welcome to Kelfato. Thank you. Coming up on Kelfato. Our four sitting in the, in the chambers, the way they sat, APRC, you know, they sat at the back, they, and then the UDP councillors sit on, in, in, in front. I told them, yes, we are all politicians who are voted by different by the political parties. But now, in the country here, there is no party here.
communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gumsol's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator, Gamsel, Yaibarom. And Sajo, you know, um, for the past couple of weeks, we have been, um, we, 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 we want to see realize uh, mm -hmm. talking to mayors and chairmen mm -hmm. because um, it's been one year since they took over. Office, yeah. And during their campaigns, they, they made promises to people. Right. And of course, we want to check on what they, were, what they told the people. Are they really on the verge of doing that? Mm -hmm. What is the state of what they have taken over and what, mm -hmm. uh, what they promises have been doing? Made. We want to promises know made. Are they fulfilling their promises? <laughs> yeah. And I am very, very much interested in the Western region. Number one, for the simple fact that I am from Western region. But number two, is the most populated, I think it's the biggest region in the country. Right. And of course, you know, we always say we are the king makers. Mm -hmm. So of course we should be taken care of. So mm -hmm. it's a great honor having the chairman um, of uh, Burkama Area Council, right. Mr. Silfo Sanko. Absolutely. Uh, like I always say, in as much as central government is important, I think people need to understand the role of area councils because they play an even bigger role. Yeah. Now. I cannot just walk into the president's office and say, hey, you need to come and sort out my market. Yeah. These are the people that we have direct contact with. Mm -hmm. So I think it's absolutely necessary that we have this conversation to know, of course, what they are up to yeah. now that it's been one year in office. And councils, like you said, are closer to the people. Mm -hmm. They are the people's representatives. Mm -hmm. You know, during the council, uh, mayor elections I, and the, and the uh, councilor's election, I kept saying this, mm -hmm. you know, we should be more interested in this election even more than the presidential election. Right. Because these are the people that we work with daily. They're the ones mm -hmm. that take, should take care of our schools, our markets, right. all the little things that we are interested in, the mm -hmm. things that affect us directly. Right. So um, it's interesting that we have uh, Mr. Songo here. Like, first, let's start with you as a person. Like, just like I said, um, area councils are very important. Why did you choose politics in the first place? But why local government? Why, uh, first of all, good afternoon, everyone, mm -hmm. and thank you very much, Fatu, for inviting me um, to your studio today, mm -hmm. in your studio, rather. Mm -hmm. um, I have passion for politics, not now. I've been in politics, though I am doing it with other, my personal uh, things, personal life, work, and other things, but politics is something that I really want. I have been emphasizing my right as a Gambian for so long. Mm -hmm. I started, um, um, in politics in 1992, mm. um, the last um, term of Sarada Kaira Bajawara. Um, the party that I supported, and that the, uh, that, that's, that's the party I, I started in, uh, my politics with, that was uh, PDP, PDP, People's Democratic Party. party. Who was the leader? Uh, Lamin Bolonding Boja. Ah, okay. okay and yeah. The party was then sponsored by, um, I think, uh, Solo Dabo. Okay, yeah. The late Solo the Dabo. The late Solo Dabo, yeah. Yeah. So that's the time I started my political career. We were the youths. You know, in that um, uh, party mm. and uh, supporting that party. So, 1992 was the f uh, was my first time to uh, to vote mm. in the Gambia. Um, after that, um, 1992, 93. Then, I mean, I travel outside the Gambia, but that doesn't stop me from uh, having interest in politics. Politics. Yeah. And then, of course, you, you vied for the chairmanship of, uh, how was it like, uh, you know, you, uh, how was it like to represent the biggest um, region in the country? Because the Western region is really huge, from Kalaji to um, you have the whole of Combo North, Combo Central, yeah. Combo, all of them on the Western region. How was it like uh, to, to just even have interest in vying for the chairmanship of the region? Well, first of all, as I just said, I have passion for politics. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, all what I am thinking, I'm yearning for, is what should I do for my people? Mm -hmm. I also want to leave a legacy. At least every good human being should try to you know, work and endeavor on that. Try to do something for your people. Try to leave legacy. We've been hearing um, stories about yeah. former great men. Yeah. They were not just on bed or just traveling on the street, you know, having that name. The name just come to them by virtue of doing something for their people and they become great men. 
or they have that legacy that this structure or this thing is uh, was built by Kerfatu or uh, Mr. Sonko. Mm. So uh, that is one one thing, and I have I also have passion for development, and uh, definitely um, during the uh, past regime of Yaya Jame, I've never supported that, that that party. I've never voted for them. I've never supported that party. Um, since then. Um, as I said, I started in the, in the last regime of uh, Sarah Rokaira Bajawara. To Yaya Jame's time, I was a, cri a great critic of the, 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 that, that government. Mm -hmm. And uh, in 1990, 1999, uh, 2004, our, our MP died in Comboist, delayed Keba, Keba Ture. Keba Ture, yeah. Then we were supposed to go for by-election. Mm -hmm. And during that time, it was tough for somebody to come and challenge the, a candidate of APRC. APRC yeah. Because you fear many ways, mm -hmm. you fear many things. But I came out. I thought it was going to be uh, the candidate chosen for the APRC by, by APRC was going was was becoming, I mean, on a I said this is on. Uh, this is not possible. Wow. I have to challenge this man. So and the, the, uh, the candidate for APRC is my cousin brother. He's still alive. Wow. Mfansu Jun Conte. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I said it's not possible. I have to challenge my cousin brother despite anything. And you represented which party at that point? UDP, UDP. UDP. Okay. because I was supporting UDP. Mm -hmm. And uh, not that time when I started uh, supporting UDP. I started supporting UDP since the inception. Mm. OK? Even the launching, it was in narrative to me. I was there. Oh, wow. OK? I mean, then we went to Kairaba Avenue, um, the party, uh, party leader's uh, compound, Usain mm -hmm. Um I met with. Uh, many elders of UDP. Some are late and some are still surviving ones. I mean, among them, just to name a few, Lion Dambundiba was, was part of it. Mm -hmm. um, Alahaji Dembo by force was also among. And um, um, Singul Nyasi, late Singul Nyasi was there. Lam Marong was there. Jere Fati, the now, um, I mean, uh, driver at the state house, Jere Fati was also among. Um, some elders of um, Combo East, uh, Lamin Dambuntiba was also there, and Usain Dabo himself was, was present. Yeah. Um, it was then I came to, you know, show my interest that I want to challenge the APRC candidate on the by-election. And uh, during that presentation, my friend, my best friend, in fact, at that time, also came to represent his candidacy. Wow. Which party? The same party, UDP. For UDP. Wow. Yes, in in uh, in our party leader's compound. Yeah. In his uh, at his power. The yeah. Yeah. Then I mean, when we all presented, mm -hmm. um, just to call it out. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I then told them, okay, we all come for the same issue, the for same interest. Reason, yeah. Then I was doing business. Yeah, I was going to Europe and coming back doing my business. I mean, I then. Tell them, I wanted to challenge APRC candidate. But then it was, as I said, it was not easy for, to, uh, for, for UDP to have any candidate by then. By then. Because no one was afraid, uh, was not, no, 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 not prepared enough. To Everyone was afraid mm -hmm. to challenge Yaya Jame's candidate. And that was a choosing one for them. Then when Lamin Ardabo presented also, then the, the elder started to, 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 to contemplate who to who choose. among the both of you, yeah. yeah. Then he was a senior <laughs> government teacher. Lamin Ardam was a senior government teacher. Then I came out, I told them, this is, it is not, I mean, I mean worthy of, you know, agreeing or pushing and pulling. Mm -hmm. We are all into one interest. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave it for Lamin Ardam and I will campaign for him. Wow. The elders then said, but how? What kind of person are you? I think, you know, this is a big position. You should have, you know, we, you should be arguing and pushing and pulling, then yeah. we, we, the elders, come and say something. I said, no. You, the elders, invited Lamin Arnabo to come. And the youths called me. That was Jere Fati, Lamin Jata, uh, 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 Lam Marong, mm -hmm. Singul Nyasi, uh, you know. The, 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 those are the ones who approached me. Then, to me, these other uh, guys who call Lamin Arnabo are the elders. They were our elders. I have to give credit to them. Yeah. And Lamin Arnabo was my friend too. I don't have to push and pull with him on that position. And again, 
Lamin Arnabu, as I said, is a, was a government teacher. Mm -hmm. Either he was succeeded or not succeeded. I am 100% sure so he's going to lose his, his, his job. job. Yep. I was doing my own business. I leave it for him. Wow. They said, Lamin Dambundiba asked me whether I'll be ready to campaign for him. I said, I am going to start my campaign today. Then I, uh, he said, uh, what about mobility? Uh, the, the mobility? I said, yes, I have my vehicles. I can do it. He said, no, we have one double, uh, Toyota double coming pickup parked somewhere. We can give you that. You, you use that uh, uh, on your campaign. But when I was going to Zeno's company, as I said, I went with the, uh, with the late uh, Kanye Bakanyi, mm -hmm. who is also my very good young brother. Yeah. You know, we have the same mentality. We were using my palo as our bureau in Cambodia. Mm -hmm. Oh, Narang Ward, that is Jibora Ward. Because uh, then you cannot even have a public gathering at the Bantaba, at the public Bantabas. The elders would not allow you because Yaya Jame. Wow. Then I sacrificed. My family talk. Everyone was saying everything. I said, no, I have to do it. Yeah. I have to do it. My mother was the problem. But fortunately, that time she, also, she was also late because she, uh, she died uh, early 2004. Four. My father died in 2001. Then those are the only ones who can you know, stand and tell me to stop, I just stop. Understood. But apart from that, just family, let, let me just explain to them what is my ambition. Yeah. And they also give me that time to do it. And then came the time when you, of course, won the chairmanship of Brikama Area Council. Yeah. It's been one year in office, and like you said, you definitely want to leave a legacy. Yeah. How do you reflect on your one year in office? Well, um, first of all, as you said, to leave a legacy, it's not a small thing to do. It's not a small job to do. You need to sweat a lot. But only your sweat might not be uh, effective. You need to have a background support. Like the council, as Fatu said, we were the ones who are representing the grassroots. We were the ones who are the, um, the mindset or the, the, the eyes of the grassroots. We need to do something for them. Because as you said, they cannot just you know, jump and go to the ministry or go to the presidency. But they can easily come to us. They can easily reach to us yeah. through the councillor or mm -hmm. through the, you know, the, the, the chairman's office. Then we, we deal things together and make it possible. And when we come to office, um, we were sworn in uh, 16 May 2018. Mm -hmm. Definitely, um, we found something very tough in the council there. Because we understood, I mean, during the past regime, all the politics of APRC then was entirely or partly done by Brikama Area Council. Okay? And that went up to a point now. I mean, we will come to that maybe. Mm -hmm. The revenue that we collect is very minimal. And the, 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 the behavior that I also met on the level of the staffs is not also normal. So you are saying the area council was much more, oh. was basically politicized. Like a political, a political bureau. A political bureau sort mm -hmm. of thing. 95 percent, I could say. Okay. When you took over? Yeah. Okay. 95 percent. Yeah. I, I know. I, I even have the endeavor. Even my councillors can attest to that. Mm -hmm. Our four sitting in the, in the chambers, the way they sat, APRC, you know, you know sat at the back, the, and then the UDP councillors sit on, in, in, in front. I told them, yes. We are all politicians who were voted by different by the political parties. But now, in the council here, there is no party here. The way you sit, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Try to mix mm -hmm. and be friends to each other, be families, brothers and sisters, better than showing an example to people that we are from different parties by showing the way you sit. Well, and when coming to the council, ask councillors, please do not come with your party colors. We are here for West Coast. Okay, so that is where we started, and uh, as I as, as you just said, it was it was ninety five percent politicized. Then I have to you know do my best, and that is very 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 minimal there now. But also you come to the uh, the, the attitude of certain staffs. It's not okay. Even the uh, the, 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 in, the interim committee who were there before the uh, before, before the election, took over, yeah. the report that they gave us highlighted that the manner and the attitude of the staffs of the council was mentioned in the book, which the book is uh, uh, available. Everyone uh, have, you know, everyone have a right to read. Okay? Everyone can go into, the, uh, uh, read to the, uh, go into the office and ask for the book, we will give it to you. You can be able to know what, what was in the council. Mm -hmm. 
or what is in the council. Then, I mean, that was first challenge. Mm -hmm. Second challenge <coughs> is the Brikama Area Council was not capacitized. There is no equipment in Brikama Area Council. As we speak, I met only two tractors with a trailer. These two tractors, one was given to the council by UN Habitat. I, 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 I believe UN Habitat, something like that, or, mm -hmm. or silly project, something like that. Uh, if you remember, during the seasons, we used to have floods in Brikama, oh, Jam right. Jam Jambar Sani, and, and mm -hmm. other places. Those tractors were meant for that. They were given to the council just to be able to help them in evacuating the waste and other mm -hmm. uh, certain duties. Yeah. And uh, only one septic tank responsible for liquid waste. Think about from Kalaji to Katong to Ketsering to Bijilo. It's, it's all under the same municipality. Mm -hmm. One septic tank alone cannot be able to do it. We met on, at, um, uh, on four trucks also. These four, tr four trucks, one is six wheel, uh, a bigger truck, not that big, a huge one, mm -hmm. but at least a bit bigger. And you have you know, three small ones, which we are responsible of collecting garbages and the one compact truck. This compact truck, in fact, I, as mentioned to me, is an old truck now, is every time having problems. So that is the one now, it cannot go far. I have to st station it in the car park and the hotel areas. You see, you know, all these hotel industries, we collect them. So that, 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 that compactor is responsible of those areas. But if it, if it has a problem, it is a problem for us to be able to evacuate those you know, wastes. This is, what, this is another problem. And the council does not have enough fund to be able to, uh, to, to purchase trucks. Also... Where is all the tax collection money? All the tax collection money? Yeah. Very good question. This is the, this is the biggest Very region. good question. You have all the residents, in the, well. the market yeah. and everything. Very well. Yeah. Brickham Area Council was responsible of collecting from uh, the mining areas, the sand and the gravel mining areas. Yeah. But they are no more collecting it. Why? So. I don't know. I mean, that is central government issues. We, and we will definitely come yeah. to that because it's the chairman's. I am now fighting. Yep. Seriously, with the ministry. Yep. For us to be able to have that back to the council again, yep. because Brickham Area Council, as part of Ali mentioned, is the uh, most populated area, and the uh, land size also is the biggest. Yeah. But the, phone, the little fund that we are collecting cannot be able to do all that thing. Think about all the federals are the responsibility of the councils. All the federals. To be country enough is a responsibility, a responsibility of the councils, not the highways. Yeah. The highways are the central government central responsible. Government is, yeah. Okay? This, these are some of the challenges. So, 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 so this brings us, before even we go back to some of your achievements, this brings us to the local government acts. Uh, because um, even when, when it comes to appointment of your own staff, they, like the, 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 the chairman or the mayors, they're just ceremonious, more like. They don't even have the powers to appoint the CEOs and mm -hmm. central government does that. And also, central government is, sub, is supposed to subvent 20% of your operational costs. And they have not been doing that. And um, what are you guys doing to make sure the first things the mayors and the governors and the chairmen should fight for is to make sure they work on the, national, on the Area Council Act to we, make sure it changes. Because if not, we just saw what happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. For example, when the, when the Lord Mayor of KMC, um, Banjo, Banjo sorry, yeah. said she has no idea about the project that is taking place in her own region. Mm -hmm. But again, if you look at the um, Area Council Act, you know, central government does, I don't, I don't think they're obliged to, I don't, I'm not sure, but I don't think they, they you know, it, they should even do, give that to her. But it, it's because you guys need to work on making sure the changes that the, you guys need, because we all know the former government wanted to have so much powers and the presidency and the executive was so powerful that the central, the local governments have no powers. But of mm -hmm. course, this government has shown a lot of will power to, to give back uh, powers to the councils. But remember, as time goes on, politicians, they, they look for power and they want to get more powerful. Mm -hmm. 
was it not right that the first two years the central government mayors and the lord and the chairmans come together and fight to get the um, the local government acts properly done and not don't wait for the, the the constitution review commission because if not you might not get all the things that you want in that in, in in the constitution so this is something that um i don't know how far are you guys working with government to make sure some of these changes are affected the subvention i know that the even the car park fees you guys don't collect gra collects it on behalf of you yeah. and how do you even do you even get these monies these are things that we always put them to them and they say we're collecting it and they keep collecting it but that's why we're not developing but it's also your fault as chairmen and mayors how are you working to get these things back um thank you very much for the question also it's a very important relevant question um first of all our predecessors i mean may not uh, be very vocal on that they might be very silent on that issue but for us as newcomers definitely for we are trying hard to ask the government to give us some of our choice. We even have an association of Gambian government, uh, Gambia local government uh, 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 authorities association that is Galga. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we have a new president and we want to change the, the movement, how those people operate before. Mm -hmm. We want to make a change to that. Yeah. Definitely we are working towards that. This subvention that you're talking about, we're not uh, receiving it. Yeah. But, it is also um, not that a central government should not do anything in, in the areas, like er, er, um, in the regions. Central yeah. government is, is, is the central umbrella body. Yeah. I mean, local government authorities like us, the LGS, we also have a mandate, and the central government also have a mandate. Yeah. It is not that the central government should not do anything in West Coast. They have mandate, yeah. They have mandate. Or oh, whatever they wanted to do in West Coast, I have to be in the picture by force. No, I, I, don't, I don't think the law, the, the, the law is saying okay. anything to that. Okay. So no, we, we, okay. we have to do our part. Yeah. And the central government also do something. But also, most of the time, central government used to call us on meetings. Mm -hmm. We discuss certain, certain issues. And uh, as you said, I mean, especially the greater Banjul areas like West Coast, KMC, and BCC, we have an MOU that you know, we usually have meetings amongst ourselves, you know, certain things that you think or we think is very important. If we push this to government uh, and, and approved, it's going to be good for our people. We're doing that. And honestly, as we speak, even this morning before I come, my CEO was at the ministry. And uh, among the discussions was part of these things that I am just mentioning. Yeah. We, are, we, we are fighting um, as GBA, Greater Banjul Areas, and I am also doing my own, own endeavor as a Brikama region because this sand mining area affects me than any other region. Mm -hmm. And only that, Brikama area control can depend on it yeah. and be able to develop uh, the whole of West Coast. But mm -hmm. in terms of you know, revenue that we collect, mm -hmm. compound rates is just 100 dollars per compound. Patu, that's too small. Is it because you don't have proper zoning? No, I, I, exactly. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me of that. This $100, we, we came and I, I added to $150 per plot. But um, the, the value properties also is, is much higher than that. Hmm. But how many value properties do we have? As you just said, the proper zonings were not available. We, we cannot even know how many value properties do we have. Now what I did was, um, I have I mean, a, a partnership with Q-Link, assisted by 5C Energy. Um, they took me to Dubai for a conductor tour to, to go and see what they are doing in Qatar, Dubai, and other places. They have a headquarter in, in, in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. And these people, are, we are now working with them. The council have given them the approval. They go ahead to partner with us, and they are doing it. They are now on mapping. Now you can sit in here mm -hmm. and be able to locate your compound, and again, you can, you know, it's just, it's just going to be like, even not 100% European system, but at least we believe we'll have at least 80%. When okay. is that effective? Um, we, we, we're still on mapping. Okay. The drones okay. are flying. They are taking, you know, uh, all the areas. We, we, we will know the streets. We will know uh, all the compounds. And in fact, we are going to, because of, because of that marking, uh, mapping, we're going to introduce a, digital, a digitalized tax collection system. Very important. Because now, as I said, we don't know where the money is leaking. Yeah. But what the council is receiving is about 40% of the total revenue of West Coast. Just 40%. Wow. It's very minimal.
Then we then came and tried to adjust it so that we can be able to do something. Think about the past. Was Birka America still been able to do something without the central government? Very minimal. Okay? Then, on that note, I mean, you, 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 you come and see when that is effective, every tax that is collected or every rate that a compound owner paid, I will know it. The CEO will know it. The finance director will know it. And even you, Fatu, as a citizen of the Gambia, can be able to know whether Fatu's compound paid or not. Wow. Because every compound is going to be with a card. You can be able to you know, know it just with your telephone handset, your mobile handset. You can be able to know whether compound A or B has paid or not. Hmm. Then, even if we cannot control the leakage 100%, but we show we can be able to Is control Is that achievable 90%. by the end of your term? It's going to be uh, achievable. Wow. Because um, uh, we were thinking <coughs> in three months' time, it will be effective. But what happened? As the, month, uh, the, the year is you know, almost halfway, mm -hmm. Uh, most of the collection, or uh, half of the half of the, uh, the, the council collection, collection was there, but the full e e effect of it is going to be 2020. It's going to be fully digitalized. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's interesting. Any so, person who mm -hmm. paid your tier, your rate, mm -hmm. or your license, or anything that is you know taxable, you will be able to know where the money is, and no one is going to be left behind. Everyone has an access to it. We will we'll have an access to know how much co tax was collected by the Kamala Council. So that, that uh, absolutely does sound like an achievement. Yeah. But despite all these things, people will say that Birkama Area Council is the most dysfunctional Fine. amongst all area councils. Why Fine. do you think it's, it's that? Still, it's still in your first question. Mm -hmm. I believe Birkama Area Council has done something, yeah. even not more than other councils. But we did something. Like what? Apart from the digitalization? Go. Yeah. Go to Bafuloto. The community of Bafuloto to Brikama is about three kilometers. Three, three kilometers. It is done, gravel, and, 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 and ready. You go to Brikama. Between the Brikama football field, box bar football field, and the veterinary, the, that road was very bad. In fact, after nine or after 10 o'clock at night, a young lady alone or a woman alone cannot be able to pass that area without being attacked. And even a young man can, can be robbed because there are, there are trees and the place was turned to, you know, a dumping area. But it was also, you know, meant it is, it is a gravel road now. Now the police is using that as the one-way traffic for the, for the vehicle coming from the, from, from the car park. It's an accessible road now. Okay? Come to Sukuta, this highway going to the airport. The road going to, I mean, Sibek International College is done by the council. Okay? Up to Maria Makunda. Again, Brikama, Brikama Police Station, the frontage of Brikama Police Station. The whole people of the Gambia, whoever go to Brikama during the races, knows that that time it was a very big problem for the police to pass through that area and go into their offices. But today it is, it, it is all paved from the junction, uh, Park Johnson to the, to, to the church. But again, information is lacking, though. So, yeah. But what people are saying, I am saying to the people of the Gambia, that's not true. So, so I want to come here. You see, it is, it is, it is a council project. It's a council project. So, so I want to come. I want to come there. So, um, what we see um, now, uh, even with the central government and even local governments, is more of infrastructure development. Mm -hmm. And that's why my grandmother and my auntie does not feel the work of the council because for us, is my grandmother sells to the market. She wants to make sure the market is clean. She wants to make sure she has a better place to sit down. Okay. But if if you if I saw a report you, I saw a report you, you. I saw a report um, two days ago um, where um, some some market women were complaining about um, become area council. They don't even have a proper place there. They see okay. and then they, the place is all not clean. They don't they don't they don't clean no. off. In fact, I saw some group of men went to a private media house. To complain. So okay. these are the basic things. Okay. If you if you um, do a road uh, in in Lamen, and but then it doesn't affect directly help okay. me in my living, that is the point. People want to feel the. They want something that they can they feel. They want to feel the impact. The impact of okay. what you're doing. Mm. Um, 
Thank you very much for reminding me of certain things. Yeah. Like the women. Yeah. We never forget them. In fact, when I was campaigning, we have the report, whether it is false or not true, then mm -hmm. that the council's revenue collectors go to the market 4 a.m., 5 a.m., mm -hmm. to collect these daily dues from the women. Mm -hmm. That's what we, 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 we had. And I, I made a personal promise during the campaign that I'm going to stop that. And today, when I took office, that first month, up till date, I told them never to start collection up till 7 o'clock in the morning. Why are you going to the market at 5, 5 a.m.? The money that you collect there, where are you, where are you depositing it? So it, it, it was something you know, like a hidden, uh, hidden agenda to me. I, I, I said I have to, I have to stop this. I, I, I asked the CEO. She also invited the finance director. The finance director talked to the uh, collectors to desist from that type of collecting from the market. And that is completely stopped. Come to Nemakunku, which is also a very densely, dense populated area. We are constructing a market there, almost at the uh, uh, verge of finishing now. The day before yesterday, I went to a conductor too to, 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 to look at the, uh, the, the, the position it is now. It is almost ready. Okay? You go to the Brikama market itself, where there is a very big problem and a lot of misinformation to the public. Yeah. Brikama market. There is a system called PPP, yeah, Public Private Partnership. partnership yeah. It is everywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. Why shouldn't it happen in the Gambia? Why shouldn't it happen in West Coast or in Brikama? What, 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 is the, what, is the, what is the details of that PPP and with who? Because there have been a lot of uh, allegations about the market project. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you very much. We have somebody who came to us, saw an interest that he wanted to build a market or stalls for the council on PPP base. But then, we were thinking of a space. And there are a lot of government uh, quarters in the market. Some uh, owned by the council because council, council CEO used to live in there, or the governors. But more, uh, all the buildings are now not in good shape. They are all dilapidated, and, they, and uh, no one can use them. In fact, there is only one which somebody is living in there. We even give him a notice to, 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 uh, to, uh, to relocate. One of those quarters is which this person applied to the council, who is a Gambian born from Sukuta village. In fact, this man is responsible of one nursery school, which he, was, he is still sponsoring, and he's the chairman of that school. A businessman, a Gambian born. But Gambia does not only have Manjagos, Mandingos, Wallops, or so. We have one mentality. When we say a Fula, we think all Fulas come from Guinea, Guinea mm -hmm. or is a foreigner. Yeah. The man, I am not more of a Gambian than that man. Yeah. OK? He's the one we partner with. He started building in that quarters. It was a big chaos. Yeah. That quarters was there for years. The council or the people of West Coast never benefited a dime, a dime from it. A lot of speculations were, 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 was coming out, what we didn't even understand. It went up to, uh, 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 to the office of the um, SIS. The SIS wrote to me to stop the project. I said, I will not stop. Because this it is one part of development that we are going to give to our, our women. But then the, the conditions of the project, how it was awarded, uh, you know, of course, um, we in, in any institution, we are guided by regulations. We are guided by uh, to GPPA be regulations, tendering processes. Yeah. Tendering processes. Mm -hmm. um, and what we have seen councils doing now, and it's not just you, um, just a couple of weeks ago, there have been a lot of allegations at the single KMC. Single sourcing projects. Single yeah. sourcing projects, build, huge projects. This was not single sourced. Okay. This is something which many people applied. Mm -hmm. I, as the chairman of the council, does not do the thing by myself. I don't take the thing by myself or the CEO alone. Yeah. We invited the development committee. The only thing that we did wrong there was it was a sideline thing. Uh, it was just, we just forgot. Mm -hmm. Not, not to sideline, not sidelining them, but I, I, it, it was there's a, a, oversight. A, an oversight. Mm -hmm. Okay? That the planning office was not informed. 
This is the only mistake that we did, because those are the ones who should go there, take measurement of the place, and come uh, to us with the proper planning of that area. Yeah, that's huge. Then, as a new person in the council, eager of development, we forgot to you know, inform him. But the council, the, the, the council committee, the, the committee responsible of those things, we are development committee. They sat over the issue and give the thing, uh, give, uh, give the, the, this PPP project to somebody who they feel is qualified to. So not, 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 not to my orders, not to the CEO's orders. It is the council's orders. What would you say to people that say there was a lot of corruption um, allegedly in awarding that contract to that particular person? And also, of course, um, it's, um, it's not beneficiary to the ordinary market women. Uh, what would you say to people who allegedly accuse you personally of being, um, you know, t you know, you sideline with that particular yeah. person and to just to award, just to enrich yourself? This is it. As I said, as a council, it's like a parliament. The speaker cannot just come and decide something by him or herself. It has to be a, a, um, a parliament resolution. The council is also the same thing. I cannot just come and say, I am going to give contract to Father Ture because because Fado is my sister, or Fado is doing good in business, Fado is good, doing good in these kind of things. No, I cannot do that. The committee has to come and sit. They discuss it up to the council level. The council have to agree on it and pass resolution to it. Okay? There is nothing like corruption in that manner. It was properly done. The man replied, uh, applied. The man in, the, in, in question applied to the council. I bring the, 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 uh, that application letter to the CEO's office. Was he the only one who applied? Not only one. Okay. So that there is was a tendering. Said, so there was a tendering it, process. It, exactly. <clears throat> in, in fact, there are a lot of those kind of applications still in my office and in the office of the uh, of the CEO. Okay. That is how we did it. So, okay. And saying that, we tell women. To vacate from their place wasn't yes. true. That place was a quarters. No one was in there. No one was occupying it. So that's not true. It's, it's, it's false. Yesterday, I have some women in my office who were very much surprised because the police um, instructed the, 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 the Brikama police station to clear the road because the, it is very tough for the traffic to flow, especially the side of the um, uh, hospital. When the, when, when the ambulance is coming, it's always very tough for the ambulance to pass. Then the police come and clear the road. Some are saying, this uh, is your chairman. The chairman is not even aware. What I did was, I went back to the, to, to the police and have concession with them, discuss with them. These are my people. Can you please allow them? Then they said, what about the traffic? I said, I'm going to use the council police to take care of it so that they can sit properly. And no wheelbarrow or any other uh, table to be allowed on the access, mm -hmm. which the police was uh, uh, was not, you know, arrogant to me. They replied to me positively. If I can assure to them that the, the traffic would not be obstructed, mm -hmm. then this woman came. I explained the matter to them. They said they were surprised that it wasn't us. I said it, it is not us. So and the police also have a Monday to clear it up. Maybe you're not communicating then, effectively. Then I think then that's what exactly, I just wanted to I say. Exactly, I told them. <laughs> yeah. I then told them. This council is owned by you people. You are the one who brought us here. If you have any doubt, before going to any other person to claim to, come to us. You put us here. Come and tell us the problem that you are having. If we can remedy it for you, we will do it. And today, those people, they went out of my office with, with smiling face. I told them there is no barrier between you, the public, and the, and, and the council, especially the officer of the chairman. You can come any time that you feel like. You can ask any question that you want to ask. Then you will be filled an information that is very proper. And that is very understanding for you also. They were happy and surprised. OK? The cleaning of the, uh, uh, of, of, of of the, the market, market also. Mm -hmm. I've been seeing in Facebook, people are... You are not very famous on Facebook. <laughs> I'm not famous. But I'm not famous because I'm, you know, I, I just want just and truth. I know. Okay? Those um, stingy waters that you're seeing is from the fish market. But I think 
The public also does not know anything about that. But I think I have a platform and an avenue to tell the public. That fish market is in control, is under the, uh, under the supervision and the control of the fisheries ministry, not even my line ministry. Fisheries ministry. Which is very, 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 very not normal. The market should be entirely under the responsibility of the area council and the local government office. But how can a market be under fisheries? Yes, fisheries can be bringing their product there, but still the responsibility should be the council. What I met was, there, there is an agreement between the fish market and the council. The council should be paid what they are collecting from that. Anything that is within that fence is collected by the fisheries, not the, not the area council. We are collecting nothing from that place. The fish market, we are collecting nothing from there. And you still have to take care of the mess. That we still have to take care of the mess. But what happened? They said they don't have the equipment. Then the council told them that they have the septic tank to be able to, I mean, I mean remove the running, running water. Okay? But is that fish, fish market paying what they are supposed to pay to the council? No, they are not paying. Why don't you close it? We cannot close it. Put the authority, why? This is, the, this, this is where I'm coming from. I have invited them to come for a meeting so that we can strategize things together to revitalize everything so that that, that place can be 100% under the supervision of the council. But still, I cannot have an avenue with these people. Till the, uh, the director, something Suso, went to America. I don't know whether he's coming back or not. But I'm still pursuing to have a meeting with them so that we can revisit that, 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 that agreement. Because people are talking about the council, not the fisheries. And it's not us, it's them. They are the ones who are collecting. We are not collecting a single bullet from there. But, but the garbage is also collected by us still. I think the council should put its mouth where its money is. Yeah. But then if the council is not making the noise, then the, it continues. No, no, no. I mean, the council cannot just jump and make noise like that. I mean, we, we have to, you know, do it diploma diplomatically. We have to use diplomacy. I, 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 when that diplomacy cannot do anything, well, then, then we can go for that. Well, so we'll take our first commercial break. When we come back, I mean, area councils are... <laughs> Huge. Um, I wanted to limit this interview to 25 minutes, but you know, when it comes to area council, there's yes. so many issues. Mm -hmm. And then when we talk about Brikama area council, people are looking at just Brikama. But we're talking about Kalaji, we're mm -hmm. talking about Brikama, we're talking about my village, Mandina Ring, we're talking about Lemon. What is area council doing in all these areas? We're not just looking at Brikama, Brikama yeah. as an as a, as a, as a area. So when we come back, we look at what other things this council is doing for its people. We'll take our first commercial break. Coming up on Care Fatu. There is a famous thing in social media that become a like country selling mangoes. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> we, Ma we call it mango diplomacy. diplomacy. Yes. <laughs> 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 You know what I'm saying? You're going to get it. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. I'm okay. I'm not going to get it. Come on. I'm going to get it. 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 Yes. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Ci lutu gaming gambi bi la lal. Jar nako. Lal na ci ludi. Wow. Mungkin dapat am kuarte, am kente, am cerse. Wah, mana am nak taiji? Wow. Kente bi la. Tapi jack pot bi pas. Kente moy lan. Kente mana moy jual mi fasi. Wow. Mana bi? Am nak kuarte. Moy moy nyenti fasi. Am cerse. Yeah. Tapi nak kals bi dah guna yok. Lutu. Tapi jack pot boleh dengan kata kata ci bi. Mana am jual mi fasi. Bawa kau jape si org. Moy risk. Desor di besar defai. Hmm. Ah, mama kau jauh. Jauh mom, nolak deh. Dengan ada yang sian kiri, kias kui on dawi tibi dek bi. Medal dah mandi limom. Amur khalis. Tengki dah sah khalis. Jauh jauh lewat cerak sana kau fakol. Jembat lo. Ah. Dah dah hilal lah. Yau yau lima waktu ni tadi buaya lah dogolon magane ko. Lumu gat te gat te gat te. Film tuan ni buaya ni one one hundred thousand dollars. Wow. Kemana? Wow, noy deh. Kamu yang sama karindo. Wow. Nama ifah kangarai saya non. Cina. Lumu got to get fifty thousand dollars. Why? Eh, eh. Cerno, Cerno, Cerno. 
Who will I be last? No, no, look how many. Somebody go there. Some, some people go look at it. Fifty hundred thousand. The line of Kubo Maganja on Sili Moloyo. Did I make a good job? Muda anu ni sama kau. Man, wah, kuma kuma wah, kau lakukan. Dia ulah kau orang informe. Nak yau yau kau 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 Dreaming of owning a property in a prime location with great proximity and fantastic neighborhood? EJ Investments Sanyang Seaview Estate is the best choice you have been waiting for. Our Sanyang Seaview Estate is approximately 15 minutes drive away from the busy hop of Brusubi roundabout and into the heart of nature where you can have a peaceful and relaxed lifestyle with your family. You can buy a finished four bedroom story with five year flexible payment plan or a service plot with two year payment plan option. With over 300 homes, you will enjoy big tar roads with covered drainage, modern electrification with solar street lights, gated entrance with security post, and a breath-catching experience of our beautiful sea view and lake view. You can own a home today at our Sanyang Sea View Estate. Call us today on 446-4838 or 325 9220. Visit our website on ejinvestments.net. EJ Investments, first in property. Effective January 1st, 2019, the Gambia Revenue Authority, in consultation with the Ministry of Finance and Economic Affairs, have now effectively removed charges on tax identification number TIN. Yes, no more charges on TIN. This means you can now walk into any GRA tax office and obtain a thin free of charge. Not only that, the new tin has improved features and appearing this time not on a hard copy but in a simpler A3 size copy. Application for a thin remains the same and all you need to do is to provide your national ID card, passport copy or a birth certificate to obtain one. Applicants are urged to apply in person or give written authority to representatives or people processing their applications on their behalf and avoid using agents. Rush now to any GRA office to get your thing at absolutely no cost. GRA, collecting revenue for national development. Every young Gambian dream of a university degree. He wants a good paying job after graduation, a pretty wife, and ultimately own a dream home. What if I can't afford my desired dream home? And that is why you need to visit Universal Properties. We specialize in customer satisfaction. We listen to every of our clients' needs. When we sold the properties to our client, before you know it, you hear the client saying, I like this house. This is the room that cuts my heart. And most of the time, they cling to the door never to let go. Most clients want to close the deal right there. And that is why we always have their contracts in the trunk of our cars. We work at our client's pace. No haggle, no hazard. We're waiting for you at our office in Kairaba Avenue here in the Gambia. Have you run out of cash power? Do you want to transfer funds to your family? Or do you want salary advance without coming to the bank? Your banking services have just been brought to you on your mobile phone. Download and install from your App Store or Google Play Trustbank's mobile app. Simply search for TBL mobile app and follow the instructions. You can access the following services. Funds transfer, cash power purchase, forex rates inquiries, mobile airtime top up, mini statement, balance inquiry, TBL app. It's the only app that allows you to take salary advance and many more. You can also interact with your customers using our USSD code by dialing star 533 hash. At Trust Bank, we bring innovation that is useful to you, our valued customer. With our mobile app and USSD, banking is at your fingertips. Trust Bank Limited, proudly Gambian. In communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities 
all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gumsel's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator, Gumsel Yaibarom. Uh, welcome back to part two of this interview. Um, part one is very interesting. Just like I said, you know, area councils are very complex and very um, detailed. That's why for me, uh, I think councils should have more powers. Because, for example, if you're not collecting all the revenues that you're supposed to collect, how can you be functional to your people? And that is the problem for all councils, uh, as, as far as I'm concerned. And I think that's why, whether the chairmen like it or not, they can just do so much. They cannot do everything because they don't, they don't have access. Yeah. They don't even get the subvention they're supposed to get from central government. Mm -hmm. So how are they supposed to take care of their people? This is something they need to talk to the people, but communication is also a problem in this country. Slightly. And I think that is what Brickham Area Council is suffering from, Sergio. Right. I think um, looking at the things that he is saying about definitely myself, I don't know some of those projects that you just mentioned. Yeah. I think um, it's about time maybe you guys set up a communications unit so that um, this kind of information is out there to the public. Mm -hmm. I also know that there was a gum solar project that you signed with... Um, with a company. So what is the level of, that, of the implementation of that project now? Okay, before we come to that, Fatu mentioned something be, uh, before the break. Mm. Um, I want the people to know West Coast is West Coast. Yeah. West Coast is not just... Brikama. Brikama. It's not just, I mean, Kessering. Mm -hmm. It's not just, I mean, Kalaji. Mm -hmm. West Coast is almost 700,000 inhabitants. So, only people of Brikama cannot say, but only Brikama has to develop. Yeah. No. Yeah. We have to decentralize it. Though the system of the, uh, the, the, the councils running with, with, the, uh, uh, with the central government is a centralized one, not decentralized yet. Mm -hmm. We're still fighting for that also. Yeah. To be able to have a fully decentralized area councils. Mm -hmm. But now, I want, to, I, I want to put this that, though God has opportuned Brikama to be the headquarter of West Coast, Though, we do more in Brikama than any other place. But also, let's give you know, a, a chance, a, a, a development a chance to other areas also. This is the reason why our coming projects, we have a lot of pro projects to be, to, to be implemented in Fonyi, in Kersering, because some people don't even know that Kersering is part, part of West Coast. Yeah. Yeah. What did well, uh, Kersering benefit from Brikama in that country before? I, I don't think there is any. I, I don't know. I don't think there's any. I don't think and so. guess what? Yep. Okay? Go to Senegal, Gambia. The, 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 the TDA should be all uh, collected by us. But we are not. It's collected by Tourism, Tourism Development, Development Board. Tourism Development Board, yeah. And most of, most of these uh, operational license with big, uh, the, 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 these, these companies are not paying. For example, I can, use, I, I can give one example that we are still following them, but we cannot still have any, any, any positive you know, reply from them. Just to name a few, just maybe let, let me name one for you, yeah. and, and, and the least amount. That is GCAA. Yeah, yeah it's on your area. It's on us. Yeah. We, they, they, they should pay, then, uh, but they are not paying. We still have an outstanding balance with them for almost about seven million plus. When we added this 2013 there, uh, 2019, it's going to be more than, more, uh, more than, more than seven million, but it's seven million plus still, still with them. So and it's not that we are not asking them. We are asking them every time. And it's not only GCA. Okay? So we come to Gamsola also. We, 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 we've signed you know, uh, an MOU with them and partnering with them. Um, now, they are the ones who are doing their homeworks, and they should come back, should come back to us. And also, the council also, all the wards, like West Coast is, is having 28 wards. Mm -hmm. All these 28 wards is headed by a councillor. I mean, they also have to, you know, um, bring their, 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 their projects, give it to Gamsola. It's, it's not only about lightning. Gamsola can, you know, can intervene in many areas, like boreholes, you know, you know, lights, street lights, solar street lights, and many things. Uh, I think uh, uh, at, at the level of Gamsola, it is going well, so we are just waiting for their, 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 their coming back to us. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So, so let's talk about sand, sand mining. Mm -hmm. um, you know, recently we, we, we know the West Coast region is the most affected when it comes to mining of sand and, you know, and other mineral resources. Mm -hmm. um, when you go to yeah. the Farabai incident was something that, you know, everyone, even the international partners got to know about it because it was not properly handled. And you, the, 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 the Bikama Area Council was indirectly involved. Was, was no. in, um, you were not involved? I, 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 as me as a chairman, I'm never in the picture. No. I'm never in the picture. And even the governor, I, when I hear a problem in my region, I call the governor, I sat with him, ask him what he, he said, he's not also in the picture. I think the, all the mistakes you know, emanated from the uh, previous regime. Yeah. To take the responsibility from the council, who should be entirely responsible, who are even okay with the system, take it from them and give it to geology. I think geology should only be a regulatory body. So what, okay? what happens now? Now, up to now, sand mining and other issues are still on the geology and, and councils don't have a, a say in what happens in their region when it comes to sand mining. Even if I want to give, um, uh, uh, if, if I want to have stones or gravel from the quarries for certain, certain you know, jobs in uh, Project, uh, yeah. certain projects, I have to write an application to geology to give me an approval to go to the quarries as a council. It's not right. And again, I mean, geology is collecting everything. The council is benefiting nothing from it. As I, I just told you, um, uh, I, am, I am discussing with the ministry. Just now, they informed us that, you know, I mean, even my councillors also you know, work tremendously towards this because and no one is happy with it. No one is happy about it. Because all the councils want their awards to be developed. They all want to, uh, want to put something in their awards. They all want to you know, leave legacy. But how can they do it with that minimal resource? Like the people living in Fonyi, you think about you know, your, your ward. How many villages do you have? Every, every village, how many compounds do you have in there? That, those compounds, how much are they paying? $150. $150. Is. Do you think that you can be able to accumulate that together in a year and be able to uh, construct one, 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 one feeder road? Not possible. So, so, so the problem okay. is, the problem is, Sajo, um, councils who are supposed to take care of their people, mm -hmm. they cannot, you, 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 it seems like you are not even in control of how to take care of your people. For example, you go to Gwinjur, yeah. you know, they have problem with the, with, with the, with the fishing issues that's going on with Golden Lead and mm -hmm. that issue the there. Meal, you go the to land Far issues, land issues. Mm -hmm. you go to Faraba, and councils have no powers over these issues. How can you I, go I, to communities I, and mediate and even talk to them when you don't have any powers? I have been saying this all along. Um, there is something in the village levels called VDC, Village VDCs, Development yeah. Committee. Mm -hmm. They are trained by the council in collaboration with the community development who have vast knowledge of the day-to-day -day running of the developments in our areas. The community development uh, office is uh, training them effectively to be able to be responsible of their villages and their wards. So if the, 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 uh, the area council is responsible of these mining issues in collaboration with the VDCs, because VDCs are always mandated by the council, yeah. there is no village who have the power to dissolve your VDC. It's only the power is only given to the council to yeah. do so. Mm -hmm. So the council can also play a part for the VDCs to be able to control the mining areas in their villages. But if the VDC, oh, the council is not in, in uh, is not responsible of those things, it is also always going to be very, very funny. I think it's, very, uh, it's time for the councils to be given back these uh, this responsibilities. It is time for the councils to be responsible of what is their own thing. Because these mining areas should be under the preview of the area council. But without the proper supervision of the area council, I don't think it is, not going, it is going to be easy for it to be controlled. Because uh, the geology is very far from them. Council is the grassroots, as I always mention. Let's give you know, responsibility to the council. Let's give them the responsibility. Because from, from, like, like from, from, uh, from Combo East to Banjul, where can you have a sand to build your house? 
In West Coast. It's West Coast. Mm -hmm. In West Coast. In West Coast. So if all those minings are done in West Coast, and West Coast is not benefiting anything from those sands, West Coast is not benefiting anything from those you know, gravel quarries. So this is why it's important to have good leadership. Mm -hmm. When we have leaders who can talk to power, who can uh, go to central government and demand their rights. Because it's important. You, I mean, some of us as you politicians, you know, uh, because some of us would want to just be in the good boots of the central government, and we will just make things, we will look at these things in a very diplomatic way mm -hmm. and not demand these things. But at the end of the day, it affects your legacy. Because it's, it's, it's just uh, mind-blowing knowing that you are the chairman of the region and you cannot even do any of these things. You don't have control over any of these things that are in your region. How can you help the people that vote you in? I think it might want to come back to them being an independent body from central government. government. Yes. Yeah. Um, th this is the reason why we are asking for a decentralized system, yeah. which might help the councils. Yeah. And uh, some of those, those, those things should be you know, released to the councils, like the subvention that you're talking of, and these mining you know, areas. These are very, very sensitive areas for the council. This is where the council can you know, tap revenue from and bring development to its people. Okay? But right now, the, the little revenue that we are collecting, you pay, you, you, you pay salaries, you pay other things. How can you be able to bring development? And the, 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 the revenues that we collected, 60% of it has to go back to the people. Mm -hmm. But how much are we collecting? Our capacity is very low. Well, that brings me to my next question. Um, so now, is there any strategic plan that your administration have put in place? Okay, we are not getting all these things and we don't get the subvention, but we still want to deliver to our people. Is there any other means or strategies that you have come up with to, to be able to help your people? Okay, you know, uh, there are many ways of, you know, coming back to our people, especially in the side of youth sector, mm -hmm. youth and women. Just now, there is a famous thing in social media that become a council is selling mangoes. Oh, oh. <laughs> we, Ma we call it mango, 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 mango diplomacy. Business, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, I yeah. think media, mm -hmm. try to come to people, ask people what you want to know yeah. before you go out and publish something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Publish something. That's true. Ask us, why is this? That's the, that, that's the problem. Yeah. Birkama Area Council is not going to put a single butu in that mangoes. The reason is, before I come to this council, yeah. in 2010, 2010, Birkama Area Council and uh, uh, Grand Youth Municipality in, in, in Dakar signed a partnership agreement. There's a memorandum of understanding between them. From then, till before we come, Granyov was able to train more than 30 youths and women of these handicraft jobs. There is presently, as we speak, there is a factory in Brikama, Kabafita, shoe-making factory, the first ever of its kind shoe-making factory, which was built by the, by the council in support of the child fund. In fact, last year, Tobaski, the slippers that I, 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 I wore I bought it from a boy called Musa Jalo, who is still doing that job. He was trained by um, Granyov. How many women in West Coast were trained how to process um, mango to juice? How to, how, how to preserve them? How many benefits, benefits did, 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 did the people of West Coast have from Granyov? Now, the relation was about to be fragile. In, in fact, it was fragile. Mm -hmm. But when I was newly elected, the mayor had it, wrote a letter to congratulate. But he said he's going to make an official visit to me, which he did. Mm -hmm. he, he visited my council, my job job. The, he's the mayor of Grand York municipality. Mm -hmm. He visited me for five days. During our discussions, in the presence of all the councillors and some senior staffs of the council, he mentioned his dissatisfaction of how this thing is being, I mean, I mean, I mean this relationship is. Because um, he, as he can remember, 
Grayov never benefited anything from Brikama. And he's, he thinks there is no fair deal. If Grayov is training the youths of West Coast, what should what what, what is, what, what is the, the the part of uh, Brikamera Council mm -hmm. for Grayov, for Grayov. Mm. which was a very 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 uh, no hard uh, no, answer for me to give. Okay. Then he said, now he's requesting something from us as a new chairman. He said, I'm requesting something from you. Please help Grayov people as we are helping your people. The only request I want you to do for me is, there are a lot of mangoes that we even hear sometimes you cannot be able to eat all and they got rotten. Mm -hmm. do, 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 those, those are the things that he, he requested that whenever the season of those things come, can we be able to facilitate it for them? But they will do the funding. Okay. So they are our partners. They are, they are, they are training our people, our youth and women, giving them skills. Then they are, they are now benefiting. How are they funding? The, is it the transportation or are they buying the product? They are buying, they are buying the product. Oh, they are buying it too? They are buying the mangoes. Okay. Those mangoes, which we, we feel we know, we like, like this Sierra Leone mangoes, mm. they said Sierra Leone. Yeah. Mandin called to recover Sierra Leone. Yeah, Sierra Leone. Yeah, yeah. These Sierra Leone mangoes. Mm -hmm. Gambian don't like it. Mm -hmm. the, the ones we, we love much is the Tanduk and Jura and, and other things. Yeah. But um, this is, they, they, they went to the provinces, Fonya and all other places to buy it from those people. Before just you know, been, 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 been spoiled there and animals eating it, yeah. but we, 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 it was bought from them. During this Ramadan, how many families you know, benefited something from the mangoes, which they never before? It was bought. They did the transportation. They, 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 uh, they, they, they bought it. Everything that involves uh, money is done by Grayo. So, so you know, okay. Mr. Chairman, I mean, <laughs> I think this is your fault. The postings that was made on the yeah. social media did not suggest any way like that. I'm coming. So I think you have uh, the information. Uh, uh, you're, uh, the way uh, your thank, guys... Thank you. Thank you very much for that. It's, yeah. like, it's like something was posted. It wasn't posted by the chairman. But is, it, is your council? That's what I'm coming. That's, my, that, that's, that's why I'm coming. See, if anything happens here, everybody yes. will say Fatoure. Exactly. So anything happens in exactly. the yeah. That is why yes. I have to take yeah. the responsibility yeah. of the blames. But now, who posted it? I called the person. Yeah. Please... Can you go back to your postings? Mm -hmm. Answer those questions A, B, C, and D. Why are we doing this? What is it for? How is it purchased? And how is it transported to, 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 to Senegal? Mm -hmm. He then came to me that before posting, one of the youth activists, who, was he, who is now the youth secretary general, answered it because he was part of that package. That is, uh, I think, uh, Demo Kambi. Mm -hmm. He was even part of that package. Okay. Then he's, he told me it, it's going to be a duplication of influence. I told him, but next time, post something that is you know, meant for posting. And if, if you post, follow it up. Verified information. Okay? Just, just write and again, the right and, 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 and again, um, it's like people want, just wanted to be, to, to, to be blaming unnecessarily. There is no soldier man standing at the gate of Brigham Medical Council with a gun telling people not to enter in the council. Mm. We are media friendly, yeah. but are we seeing them? We are really, we can really attest to that. Are we yes. seeing them? Just one, one call GRTS to you. GRTS called me last week. Yeah. I don't know how do they call the artist program, What's on Gambia? No, is it? <laughs> no, what What's on called? Gambia, they are really <laughs> after you. You don't yeah, want yeah, to yeah, talk about it. That's the reason why in fact, I have to remember their name. Okay? <laughs> Gambia this morning or Gambia today? Gambia this today. Gambia okay? this morning, yeah. They called me. Mm -hmm. They have an inf interview with me. Yeah. But you know what some people are saying? That, you know, you know GRTS called me and, I, and I, I, I refuse to answer to them. Why should I go, you know, why should I hide myself from the media? If my council is not in the good position of giving updates of the council day-to-day -day business, why can't I give chance to the media to come and ask us a question? But, and in fact, media, the journalist, sometimes, I think it's better to say something that you know. Yeah. If you don't know, ask me. Yeah, not sometimes, then, all the time. All then, the time. Then, then, then tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, it is Chairman himself who told me this. Yeah. That's what we do. We always have records. But we just contemplate you, just think you. You know, from your bed, you, you, you think, think of anything. Or you demand something from the chairman, it's not possible, then the chairman is your enemy today. That's uh, what is happening. So you, you, you said something very serious here. You demand something from the chairman, it's not possible, and tomorrow you say something. Yeah. Is that a particular incident that happened? 
is happening in certain areas. Wow. Yeah. From the media person? Yeah. Wow, that's serious. That's serious. Mm, that's serious. I think I am also somebody's brother, somebody's father, somebody's husband. So and they went to an extent, I mean, in fact, that's not necessary to, to, to comment on. Yeah. Because I, I am the chairman, I'm the public figure here. Yeah. Say something, whatever you feel like to say. But remember that we are Christians and Muslims. One day we will be judged by God. Yeah. So why do you think you, you get a lot of these attacks? Why do you think? You're not the only chairman. You're not the only mayor. You're not the only governor. Why is it more about you? Is it the size of the region? Or is it because you are not... Because, I mean... Because one thing I must say here, and I have said this before this interview, when you go to um, KMC, you see a lot of things, whether they're doing something or not, but they're always updating us as to they're doing something. Yeah. You go to BCC, you go to Rohilo's page, you know, they're always updating on, on something. We don't see that on um, Western West Coast. And I, people, I, let, me, let me just finish. A lot of people will think, oh, but what is West Coast chairman doing? People, we all say this. I'm just going to be honest. Hey, what is chairman doing? And I remember even when Watson Gambi made a comment, I went there and said, oh, leave my chairman. And a lot of people came back to me, what is your chairman doing? And I was not able to answer anything. So it's because people are thinking, what is he doing? What is the chairman and the council doing in West Coast? Mm -hmm. Is that the reason why you are getting a lot of attack, on, especially on social media? Well, and your, even your people, even the old women who don't go to who don't go to social media, they are not very happy with the council. Yeah, because it is the information that they are having from those media. Hmm. Those false information that they are having from the media is what is, is driving them away. Oh wow! And again, as I said yesterday, when some women uh, they do, uh, the market vendors came to me, they were surprised about what was happening, and they were surprised about the whole truth of the, uh, of the incident compared to what was told to them. I told them, whatever you hear in the market, if you are not satisfied about it, about it. come and ask me. Come and ask me. Sometimes they will come and tell you, the council says this. The council doesn't say. The council is not even aware of it. I think it's very important for the journalists to be engaging people yeah. than to be sitting in your office. Sit at your radio. Sit anywhere that you feel comfortable and say something about an individual. Are you trying to... Is there any particular journalist that you are beefing with? Well, I, I, I am not going to say anything okay. on that. I, I cannot comment on that. Okay. But I have my good reasons. Yeah, and I have my 100% proofs. Hmm. Right? But this is not like a war jam here. It's not like a war jam here. Yeah. I, I, I don't think you know, somebody should just sit over there politically who just a hatred from nowhere, mm -hmm. say something about me which is not correct. Yeah, that is totally wrong. Right? That is totally wrong. West Coast is a very vast area. Yeah. When we're doing things, and another country is doing things, the, I mean, the explanation of that thing to the public might be different. Yeah. You know why? Because of the size. But the media, if you hear something, come and ask us. We will, we will definitely show it to you. And sometimes, you know what happened? Certain media people used to come to me and ask me certain questions, funny questions. I have to um, give them a, a, a relevant document for them to see it by themselves, to know that, oh, on the whole, what I hear isn't true. It's not true. There's, there's, there's the truth of it. Why can't they be doing that? We're not going to hide anything, because that is a public office. Yeah, it is. Ask so, anything that you want to know, you will know it, inshallah. Yeah. Okay. Going forward, you know, mm -hmm. is there any projects, new projects that, that you are trying to roll out to, to the people of Wisconsin? A lot of new projects. Oh. I think um, not 2019, but end of 2019 and 2020 is a turning point for becoming that country. <laughs> because, You're speaking like President Barrow. Yes, Barrow said that, 2019 yes, is going that, to be a turning point. follow his footsteps because oh. <laughs> I respect him in the, in, in the way he's interested in development. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. let, then let me speak like him. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, um, as I said, we were reforming. We are making reformations. Yeah. And we, uh, there, there are a lot, lot of you know, abnormalities mm -hmm. going in the council that we are trying to reform and give a good image to the council. Because I know all these you know, critics and insults and all other things emanates from the past that the people were used to something that they think is still going on while we are trying to do something and come out with a good image. Like I said now, 
when QLink started, nobody will complain. Yeah. No one will complain because we are going to tap funds from this, uh, from our people, and we will get, uh, get get it back to them also. We have many projects to come. The implementation of this uh, QLink project that I said, the, 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 the mapping mm -hmm. and uh, the, 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 uh, the digitalization of the tax collection. We also partner with uh, another, another, another institution called um, uh, Tedungal. Mm -hmm. They are going to do street naming and the tapping you know, funds from, from other you know, areas to, to, to name our streets. We are looking into I mean, street lightnings, which will, which will go with um, um, CCTV, some areas, some uh, populated areas. We'll, we'll go with CCTV cameras and with Wi-Fi. Uh, that can be possible, oh, uh, is, okay. likely in 2020. I thought the president was going is to that the Wi-Fi project? Well, well he, he, he's, he's, he's doing no, his own. Don't claim the president's no, 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 project. No, 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 we're not going to claim that, as I told you in the beginning. Yeah. No, no mayor or chairman should say, the, the, the president is doing this in my community without informing me. The president has his own way. We, you also have your quota to do. Okay. Right? So let's yes. just say the president has his own Wi-Fi project. Fine. And, and the BCC, so do you. Yes. BCC has, okay, great. Not BCC, BAC. <laughs> BAC, BAC, <laughs> sorry. BAC, BAC, yeah. BAC. Yes. Right. This is, this is, this is that we, uh, what, what we're thinking of to have. And mm. solely we will, will be able to. It, it cannot be in the whole of West Coast. Mm. But most of the populated areas, we believe it is going to be possible. possible. Because right now, we have been identifying an office where we will uh, employ about four or five people by our partners, that's the Q-Link, mm -hmm. to train them how to monitor those things. Okay. Like the, the, the collection of the tax mm -hmm. and these other you know, uh, gadgets that I'm telling you. And also, uh, today, as I'm speaking with you, all you know, this highway going to the airport, uh, you just pass the All Union Police Station, the junction next to the All, uh, after all, uh, all Union Police Station, going inside to Tauto, we are going to construct it starting from, in fact, starting from today, because the equipments are, are, are moving there this evening. That is a very bad road and a very well populated area that people find it very difficult to pass. Even a truck to pass there in the rainy season is a problem. We are starting that, 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 that place tomorrow, and I don't think it's going to take long. You also come to Jida, a road called Jida Babanjai is also going to be constructed. We also have a plan to construct a road which goes to, uh, in, in Foni. It goes through a village called, um, uh, it's, it's all in the records. Um, I think that's that, that the original bad place of uh, the, the, the MP of Brikaman North, um, Alaji, Alaji, Alaji S. Dao. Alaji S. Dao. Yeah, uh, Kandong. Oh, Kandong. Kandong, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that road is, you, you, they pass through the swamps. Mm -hmm. So it's very tough for, for, for them to be able to, uh, to, to pass the area. In fact, we, it's not even motorable. Ah. Especially in the rainy season, when a pregnant woman uh, wanted to visit the hospital, it's always a very big problem, okay. as they told me. Mm. So they have to use their local system to be able to you know, help the woman also, which is very dis uh, disheartening. Okay? A lot of projects that we are you know, thinking of. Right now, um, we are also going to um, build a perimeter fence between the, the football field of all Yundum and the market where there's a huge dump. And even um, Thomas Cook and other flight uh, companies were um, saying that they are going to stop flying to the Gambia because of the birds. Because the, in that area, the flights come lower. Oh, yeah. Then they can meet with the, uh, with the birds, which, is, which may be very catastrophic. Yeah, it's very, it's risky. Mm -hmm. So now they are asking us to help and evacuate those areas. We're doing it. But people are also indiscriminately dumping in there. Now we're going to put that perimeter fence there. Okay, we are going to put a, um, a public um, latrine at uh, Sanchaba, Sanchaba Sulejob, um, Brusubi Market here. Um, also, is going to have a, a good toilet, which wasn't even having with all the population of the area. Yeah. yeah. So these are some of the, I mean, I mean, projects that we 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 we, we will be doing. Yeah. Wow, this is interesting. It's, I, it's interesting. I, 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 I believe, I believe, I, 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 because I'm not having the records here, I cannot be able to remember all, all the of them. But these are some of them. These are some of the you know, important uh, projects that we wanted to embark on. I hope if the funds arrive, you will look at small villages like Mandinari and yes, places, of course. In places fact, like Lamin. In fact, fact Mandinari, you know, your, uh, your ward councillor, member. Member, the, member my today. uncle, yeah. Uh, Memba is a very good brother and a very good counselor who is uh, always in my office asking for that rod. 
In fact, as we speak, uh, yesterday he came to my office uh, because we always give, if the community want to do it on the community base, we give them fuel. We apply gravel for them and we give them fuel. He, he, uh, he requested for about 800 liters of fuel, which we, we cannot be able to give it at once, but simultaneously we'll be giving it yeah. so, you know, so that he can be able to achieve you know, what he wants. And also um, um, from um, Tanje, Going to uh, through, uh, going through inside the Tanje village uh, to uh, to um, to Jereng mm -hmm. is also you know on the maintenance by the by, by by the community in support of the council. Council. In support of the council because we are doing the fueling. In fact, at the quarry, we are the ones who is loading the trucks. We we responsible of all those funds. Even yesterday, they were asking me, the, the, the first one that we embossed to them was finished, and we have to do another one. I have to tell the uh, um, minister to the CEO to be able to you know, uh, give them another one for that so that they can be able to complete it before the rainy season. So this is, is interesting um, plan, and I hope they're able to do this. I think, but for me, for council to be able to effectively work, they have to have decentralization. Yeah. And, then and, and, and also another important project, which is going to be New Yundum Market. We are, we are uh, we're going to partner with uh, now, uh, the, our planning office is working on it. Mm -hmm. We are partnering with Skybank, and uh, we believe it's going to be state of the art market at all, or, uh, New Yundum on the, uh, on the highway, wow. alongside the highway there, just, just beside the, the health center. Wow. Yeah. That is, that's interesting. Absolutely. I think before he goes to we, I mean, we'll talk some little politics as well, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So, um, you but, came... But, but, but politics, politics is over. We are now working. You're asking me about development, now you're yeah. asking me about I mean, politics. Yeah, Everyone we, says that politics we, is over. <laughs> when I you know, over. <laughs> yes. Politics is never over. Mm -hmm. So, when you came into local government, yeah. obviously you came on a UDP ticket. Yes. Well, now the relation doesn't seem to be working really well between the head of state mm -hmm. and the party. Some people have accused you of siding with the president. Siding Some people president. from your party okay. accused you of siding with the president now that the relationship is not really, really, you know, like it used to be. As I, I, as I mentioned earlier, are you sure of your question? Because I don't want you to be telling me something that you are not sure of. We I are am absolutely 100% sure. sure. You have your fact on it. What, no, what she's saying, people okay. have accused you. Accused me. Yes. Yes, so we want clarification. What's your response to that? Very good. Yeah. Thank you very much. What is your relationship with the party? It's not time for politics. Yeah. It's not time for politics. Take a little answer that I'm going to give you mm -hmm. and accept that. We when time for politics, we can do politics. Okay. We... The President of the Republic, mm -hmm. His Excellency Adam Abaro, is a member of UDP like me. I told you earlier that since the inception of UDP, I am there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which I believe Adama Obaro is also part of UDP. Mm -hmm. Because I never hear from anywhere that UDP sacked Adam Obaro till when coalition has to come in effect for him to resign. That those are the conditions of the, of the, the so called agreements not to agree on you know, resigning from UDP. Mm -hmm. But he's supporting UDP. 100% support. People might not like what I am saying here, but it's the truth. Mm -hmm. For me, as the chairman of Brickham Area Council, UDP uh, candidate, for that matter, when I won the primary, I have the toughest primary in the Gambia, yeah. the toughest one. It was tough. But when I won the primary, after, the, after my nomination, my nomination money was paid by myself. I have an association called Sunko for Better West Coast. The chairman is Jere Fati. Um, most of the lady councillors of West Coast are in that association. They are the ones who followed me. They are the ones who campaigned for me. In fact, from the, from the primary to the, to the main election. Though that association paid my nomination fee. Then, myself paid for, the, for, for all the pictures that are to be on the ballot boxes. Then there was no money yet from the party. Hmm. Okay? And again, the president also gave $500,000 through UDP Manjai Bureau. It was handed over by Lamin Cham to um, uh, Yusufa Cham, 
the current chairman of the UDP um, uh, West Coast region, West Coast region mm -hmm. and bring it to me in Brikama uh, UDP political bureau, uh, regional bureau. I was there with the secretary Bolong, with the then vice chairman Lamin Jata, I mean, another secretary. Uh, and some other people. And some other people. Okay. In fact, Yusufa was uh, arriving at all, it was maybe a little after Maghrib prayers. Hmm. We counted the money, the money was $500,000 flat. I campaigned with that money. And also, as I was just asking you of your information, whether they are fact or not, yeah. I also heard mm. that my other colleague mayors were also sponsored the same way as, him, as me, okay. but in different numbers, different amounts. In different amounts. Yeah. yeah. Sophie, mais on la vous selle, t'es mer. Bah, n'a t'y halal, ak mak yup, amna calcium, iron, protein, ak vitamin yu bari. Sophie, full cream powder milk la, amna 20 gram, 200 gram, ak 400 gram. Koko nyam, do to kobayi. Sophie, proudly Gambian. So, so meaning what you are saying is the president funded your campaign, yeah, and it was not the party that funded you, but it was. No, the I, I, I can I cannot say it was not 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 the party because then he was supporting the party and he, uh, the money came. The process, the president funded you through the party. F very well, but the money came from the president. The money, the money came from the president, one hundred percent. So is that why you are loyal to the president? No, no, no. I even you have to be loyal to him. Of course, we, we, I'm loyal to the country. Very well. Yes. Very well. Mm -hmm. I have to be loyal to the country and loyal to my people. Yeah. And again, we cannot be at loggerheads. Yeah. No. No. Even if someone is pushing me to do it, I cannot do that. Yeah. I will never be at loggerhead with the president. No. Area councils is not decentralized. We are still under yeah. the supervision of the ministry. Minister of local government. And the, 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 I believe the president still has the powers to dissolve the, 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 the council. The president can dissolve the council? Yeah, he can dissolve the council. But he cannot dismiss me. Oh, he cannot dismiss the chairman, yes. Yeah. yes and yes. he cannot dismiss any, any, any councillor. Yeah, they are elected. Okay? Mm. So, if Fatu is pushing, for, for example, I'm not saying you're pushing me. So, if someone is pushing is me. Is someone pushing you? No, no, no one is pushing me. Okay. Because no one comes to me and tells me don't support the president. Yeah. No one tells me. But I see, I see him as a colleague in December. So too. what's your relationship with the leadership of the party right now? Um, the leaders of the party right now, as you, I, I see, just asked the question. I'm also hearing the same thing, that I am BYM. You know, from, Siri, from the leadership? City for Baro. No, 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 I'm no, asking. No, no, what from, is your relationship? No, not from the leadership. What is your relationship with the leadership? I have no problem with the leadership because we never have any argument. You never had discussed this issue with the leadership? We never discussed this issue. Okay. I am, I, am, I, am, I am a member of UDP. Yes. But I will never let go the agendas of the president. National development agenda. Agenda. Mm -hmm. So if you want me to, be bl uh, to, to blindfold myself on those things, I'm saying no. And you are Country BYM. First. Are you BYM? What is BYM? B BYM. <laughs> Borough Youth Movement. Is okay, there any Borough Kewakafo. There's a Borough Kewakafo. Well, well, well. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know any, any, anything about the movement. Okay. No. Okay. I don't know anything no, about the yeah. movement, mm -hmm. but I know um, um, you, uh, Baro, uh, President Baro Youth for National Development, oh, yes. and I also see other people, you know, you know, coming out, you know, to sort of their loyalty to, to him and president. calling themselves Baro Fans, Fans Club. Club. Yeah. 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 Yes, and I'm also supporting him yeah. as my leader, my president, and somebody who was very, 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 very interesting into my politics, who was also supporting my political career through my party. And he never throw any bad words on me. He never do anything to me. So politically, I cannot say no to his agendas also. Politically? Politically, I cannot. So this is more like country first? Yeah. No, he said politically. Yeah, I cannot say no to him. Politically, that is interesting. I cannot Very, say no to him. Yeah.
No, 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 I cannot. Because as Gambians, we all, I mean, it's just, it cannot, we, there's no way any Gambian, meaningful Gambian, can not support the national development agenda. Because that is the country's agenda. I think so. And every Gambian should support that. I think so. But what I'm saying, you said politically, the president has ambitions. So if the president wants to rerun and the UDP wants to put up a candidate, who do we support? As a, who do you support? That's, that, wait, that's when it's time let's for politics. when time comes. Yeah. That's when 20, it's time 20, for politics. When, yeah. <laughs> when time comes, 2021, everyone will see my where support. Sirifu, where Sirifu will be. Exactly. Because you are the king maker. Some, some, are, you call, are, the some king. are calling some are calling me Sirifu Baro. But I want you to make it very clear. <laughs> you are the king maker. Don't make it Sirifu Baro. Western because region. people might understand it might be Sirifu Baro somewhere. Mm. But if you say Sirifu Adama Baro, it's more clear. Oh, you want to be called Sifo no, Adam Because Baro? why are you calling me Sifo Baro? So you want to be called Sifo Adam Baro? I will be very much happy. Wow. I'll be very much happy. That's interesting. Because he's my president. Yep, he is. So if you call me Sifo Adam Baro, I'm going to duplicate it. Wow. Yeah. See, my chairman is bold and interesting. He, no, see, I, no I, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't have this idea of hiding myself. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in, 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 in hiding myself. I believe in showing out who I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's who I am. Yeah. yeah. And uh, finally, it's, we don't have any more time. Three years into the President Barrow presidency, what's your assessment of the government right now? He's three years now. Yeah. Though it's not, not yet three years. In right? December, it will be three years. Yeah. Um, I'm seeing a very good development going on in the Gambia because definitely you go to URR who have never benefited anything in the history of the Gambia. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little in the First Republic. Yeah. Because whatever we said, let us say thank you, Sarada Kaireba Jawara. Mm -hmm. Then I might be a very little kid then. But from Brikama to Pase, it was a very tough journey our mm -hmm. parents were facing. It, is, yeah. it was Sarada Jawara and his people mm -hmm. who has to break those hills, those mountains, have an access for people to go to Pase. I had it took people a week before reaching to Basse. Yeah. But now we call ours. Yeah. So thanks to Sarah Rakaira Jawara. But from then, what kind of development do we have there in terms of infrastructure? Mm -hmm. That President Barrow is endeavoring for them to feel like Gambians, Gambians. that they are also part of Gambia. Mm -hmm. So I think he's doing a lot on that side. And many other places. So, and I also, when giving him a chance, before the end of um, 2021, he is going to deliver more. Look at Banjul. Banjul was a ghost town, mm -hmm. just like a ghost town. Yeah. But today, things are changing. In fact, rapidly. You, co you, you come from Europe, you landed in Dakar, come by a road, I mean, cross the ferry into, the, into Banjul. You, you, you think maybe you are in one of the villages in Basel. Yeah. The road is very bumpy. The place is very dark. Mm -hmm. But President Barrow is trying to make the road very silky and smooth. I think as Gambians, we should commend him and we should try to support him so that we can be able to achieve something. 2021, we decide. We decide. That is true. That is yeah. very clear. Yeah. 2021, we, we go decide. for election. Until then, um, the President of the Republic and the National Development should be the agenda for every Gambian. Sajo. Right. It's been an interesting It's been discussion. very interesting And I am falling in love with you. <laughs> I know. I, I just want to say, what's on Gambia? Please leave man alone. There is exactly. no man that you can Let can. them leave me alone. Or oh, let them come to my office. <laughs> or oh, let them invite me as you invited me. Yes. And have discussion with me. I right. love it. Yeah. Right. There is money coming I am out not of those mangoes. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm not an enemy, but a brother yeah. or maybe an uncle to some of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right? Yeah. Then I don't have a problem okay. in having discussion with anyone. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Chairman. Thank you very much, Sajo. And we want to commend you definitely um, for accepting our invitation in a very short period. Mm -hmm. When we call one, I know we know how difficult it is to reach out to public officials. Right. You call them two weeks to get them on this chair. Mm -hmm. It takes two weeks sometimes. We called you. In fact, I was telling Sajo, can you call him again? <laughs> yeah. to, just to check he's coming. Because, right. you know, it's difficult to get people, but it was really easy to have you. And then you did not ask for anything. All you said, when and how, mm -hmm. uh, and you asked for direction. And that was very commendable. We and I, We really appreciate that. Thank you very much. You're and welcome. just don't forget my village. I will Thank never, you very much. I'll never forget your business because really you they all. did a lot for us. Thank you so much. See you next week. Okay.